What up, what up, everyone? Our first song on Monday, January 12th, was A Public Affair by Jessica Simpson. What up, what up, MA fam? It is me, Aaron. I'm back here after two weeks. Have you been well? As you guys heard, I went back home to LA for the past two weeks, and it was amazing. You know, I got to see my family and friends, got to see my mom, my dad, my little sisters, my little dog, Choo Choo. Uh, got to see all my good friends, my best friends from high school. Um, got to eat all the foods that I wanted to eat. And, you know, I got to explore L.A. And, you know, um, just being away from the city for so long made me fall in love with it all over again. And, you know, um, I got to say, guys, L.A. is the best city in the world. But, yes, you know, like I said, I was able to spend some time with my family and old friends. And these past two weeks of rest recharged me with a lot of positive energy. I'm fully charged and ready to share all of this energy with you guys. And I'm sure there's a lot of you guys who are curious what I've been up to in LA these past two weeks. So let me know what you're curious about and what you guys have been up to as well. We'll share all of your messages during message time in just a bit. And let me tell you what's up for today's show. We have our two corners for the first hour in the lineup, MA Trash Can and All About Music Quiz. In the second hour, we have the lovely Tasha joining us for our Monday corner, My Treasure Box. Here's how you guys can listen and participate on Music Access. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio applications on your smartphones and send us your messages through the applications using the common function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website www.arirangradio.com slash musicaccess and leave us your messages there on our message board and you can also see our broadcast in real time like right now. We actually have our cameras open, so hi guys. Long time no see. Got my little cool little short haircut going on. But yes, guys, another way you guys can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB. But this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo, and 101.9 for Daejeon. And you guys have been sending us some awesome song requests. Please keep them coming by posting up a message on our message board under the title request. Quick shout out on our message board before moving on. What up to Clary95 from Peru, Rafina from Russia, Sunshine1206 from Peru, OMK77 from Thailand, Kim Tian Vien from Vietnam, Vanessa Venezuela from Venezuela, Cookie Girl from the States, uh, Daniel123 from Australia, Huyen Pham from Vietnam. Cookie Girl wrote, did you get a tan? I did not get a tan, actually. Don't worry. I am the same color. Um, is Fernanda from Mexico. What up? Purple Cloud from the UK. What up? And for the rest of you guys tuning in and leaving us your messages, thank you very much for tuning in. And we'll come right back after a song for message time. Here is Sweater, sweater Weather. I was, I was going to say Sweater Summer. I don't know why. Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. What up, ME fam? We just came back from listening to The Neighborhood's Sweater Weather. Time to see what the ME fam is up to, and let's read your stories with message time. All right. First, we have Lu Quinn from Vietnam. Lu Quinn wrote, Dear Aaron, so you're back to MA. I really missed your voice a lot. I saw the photos and videos that you uploaded on your SNS, and I'm glad you had a wonderful holiday. Your sisters are so cute. What up, Lin Kuin from Vietnam? Yes, I am back to MA today. I actually just arrived to Korea today morning as well, 6.30 a.m., early flight. But, you know, um, the jet lag, there's no jet lag, actually, surprisingly. I'm pretty awake right now, right? But, uh, yes, you know, um, I uploaded a lot of photos and videos on my SNS to keep you guys updated with my life, you know, what's going on with me. And, you know, um, I had a wonderful holiday, like you just said, you know, got to see my family, friends. Got to eat a lot of good food, and you know, um, I uploaded a lot of photos of my sisters this time, and I'm glad you guys think my sisters are cute, because I don't really think they're cute, but I'm glad you guys think they are, so thank you very much for your compliments, and uh, thank you, Lou, for tuning in, thank you for welcoming me back, and please tune in for the rest of our show, we're gonna have a fun show today. Next, we have Evelyn from Singapore, Evelyn wrote, totally recharged voice, welcome back. What up, Evelyn from Singapore? Yes, my totally recharged voice. I am back. You know, um, 
I recharged myself back in LA, you know, rested up, had a great time, you know, seeing family and friends. And uh, thank you very much, Evelyn, for welcoming me back. It means a lot. Um, I hope you guys tune in for the rest of our show. It's my first show back in a while, so look forward to a lot of fun. Next, we have Nico from Mexico, Mexico. Nico wrote, Hola, dear Aaron. Welcome back. We missed you, but we know that you deserved a vacation. I saw your photos on SNS, and you look so happy with your family. I feel so happy for you, and I'm a little late, but I wish you guys, or I wish you a happy new year. My best wishes for you, Ron. I love you. Nico from Mexico. What up, what up, Nico from Mexico, Nico from Mexico. Yes, thank you for welcoming me back with open arms. Uh, yes, and I missed you guys as well. You know, I know you guys missed me as well, but, you know, I was on vacation, so I hope you guys understand. Uh, but yes, you know, I was really happy seeing my mom and my dad and, you know, my little sisters after years of not seeing them, you know, um, it was just really good spending quality time with the family, you know, over, um, the holidays and on the New Year's, you know, I'm sorry I couldn't be here with you guys, but Happy New Year's to you guys, it's a little late. Uh, but yes, you know, um, I want to wish you the best of luck on 2015, Nico, you and the rest of the MA fam, of course. And, uh, thank you for the love, thank you for the message, and please tune in for the rest of our show. Next, we have Om from Thailand. Om wrote, uh, Happy New Year and welcome back to MA. We missed you so much. I hope you had a wonderful time at home. I'm so glad I got to see your SNS update and you look so relaxed and I'm glad you enjoyed it and that you were happy. I wish 2015 will be a greater year for you. Work hard, play harder, take care, see you soon, love. Hello, Om from Thailand. Yes, Happy New Year to you as well. Happy late uh, New Year's to you, belated New Year's, and uh, thank you for welcoming me back on MA with open arms. Uh, but yes, you know, I had a wonderful time at home, you know, I was updating my SNS a lot, you know, I actually put a lot of pictures of food on, right? I ate a lot of good foods, um, didn't gain too much weight though, guys, don't worry. Uh, but yes, you know, I ate a lot of foods, you know, um, I got to see my family and friends, you know, it was just a very relaxing two weeks, you know, um, just no stress from work, you know, nothing like that, I just got to, you know, sit at home, you know, watch TV, play with my dog, you know, drive my sisters around, take them out to eat, meet some friends, get a few drinks here and there. But it was really fun. And yes, you know, hopefully 2015 will be a great year for us and for you guys as well. Uh, I like that phrase, um, work hard, play harder. It's a good phrase. Uh, but don't play too hard, guys. You gotta work at, you gotta work at the same time. So, um, thank you for the message. Take care and I will see you soon. Next, we have Danielle from Australia. Danielle wrote, Hello, Aaron. Welcome back. How was spending time with your family? Did you make the most of it? I saw your SNS post and I'm jealous of all the good foods that you got to eat. How was the weather? I have just over two weeks until I have to go back to school and I'm half excited and half nervous. This year and next year for school will be the two most important years and I need to do my best so I can get to places in the future. What up, Danielle from Australia? Thank you for welcoming me back. Spending time with my family was great. You know, um, I feel like I had an awesome time, you know, bonding with my sisters and, you know, um, you know, getting to spend time with my lovely mom and my awesome dad, you know, it was really fun. And uh, yes, I ate a lot of good foods. I had, you know, like tacos. I had those out and in burgers. You guys know what I'm talking about. I had some good pasta. Um, the weather, it was actually very cold up until New Year's. Um, not as cold as Korea, but, you know, it was very breezy for um, L.A. winter weather. And, like, me and my friends are like, wow, why is it so cold? But uh, the weather got a lot warmer after that. So the weather was, you know, it was beautiful. Of course, L.A. is the best weather in the world. Uh, but, yes, you know, um, school is important. But, Danielle, you know, don't stress yourself over it too much. You know, take things, uh, you know, step by step. You know, um, don't, you know, stress it over, like, way too much before it even happens. That'll only be bad for you. So, Danielle, I wish you the best of luck on the next two school years. Thank you very much for the message, and thank you very much for participating on Music Access. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you so much for your messages on Message Time, and let's listen to a song before we move on to our MA Trash Can Corner. Here is Cool Kids by Echo Smith. A bad habit I developed recently, a pimple that popped up last night, Arr. I want to get rid of it now. A slip of the tongue, a mistake I made at work or school, ah, erase it from my memory now. If you have things that you want to get rid of, or memories that you want to erase from your minds, 
You can do that here on MA Trashcan, and we will delete those ugly memories and events for you guys. The reason why we have this corner is because after we talk about these mistakes and blunders that we want to erase from our memories, we'll all realize we're not the only ones making mistakes in this world and that other people are suffering from the same thing. And that'll provide some comfort and relief for us, right? So why don't we take a look at what kind of trash we have for today. Our first trash comes from Ziena Ciudadano from the Philippines and Ziena wrote, I get easily irritated when someone bullies me because of my height. And sometimes people think that I'm only a high school student and when I say that I'm already a college student, they don't believe me. I want to get taller so that no one can bully me again. I want to delete all my memories of being teased because of my height. What up, Ziana? See you, Dodano from the Philippines. Yes, you know height. Um, I know what you're talking about because you know um, I'm generally the shortest out of all my um friends in our group of friends. You know um, I'm five nine, but like you know um, a lot of my friends they're all like six two, six three, six feet, six one, like five eleven. They're a lot bigger than me, so when we go out, you know, I get made fun of about my height. But you know what it is? You know, I think um, if you're short, if you're not the tallest, you know, um, tree in the forest, like I say, you can um, just have confidence. I think confidence, you know, um, is a big key in getting over your um, small height. And I guess that, um, I guess that, not fear, but that complex that you have, I guess, Sienna. But yes, you know, um, I know what you're talking about when people make fun of you because of your height. It is annoying and it does get a little, you know, um... A little annoying, you know, um, it's, it's, it's a bit of a hassle dealing with, but, you know, Ziena, have confidence, and, you know, um, things will work your way, and people will make fun of you. So, Ziena, we'll delete this bad memory for you on three, two, one, delete. All right, Ziena, thank you very much for the message, and don't ever think about those memories again. Now that we erased that from Ziana's memories, why don't we listen to another song? Aaron from the States requested Everybody by Backstreet Boys. What up, everyone? We just came back from listening to Backstreet Boys' Everybody. Throw away your horrible memories or episodes here on MA Trash Can, and we'll erase those hurtful memories for you guys. Our next bit of trash comes from Ingridi from Brazil. And Ingridi wrote, Well, this is the year of my graduation in college, but when I think of all articles, tests, and homework that I have to do, I get really stressed. So I want to erase all the troubles in this time between now and the day of my graduation. What up, Ingridi from Brazil? Yes, yeah, so you only have about a semester left until you graduate, and you know, um... You're a little worried because of all the work, reports, you know, assignments you have to complete before um, you graduate. Just think about it this way, Ingridi. You know, um, you're almost at graduation. You made it through four years of college already, three and a half. You know, just grind it out six more months. And, you know, um, graduation, when you get those good grades and you get your diploma, it will definitely pay off. And, you know, um, it's just from what I heard from my friends when I went back to L.A. this time. They said, you know, studying in college is really important, actually. So, you know, don't go out, you know, drinking with your friends and partying too much. You know, they say studying is really important as well. So I'm assuming you're on top of your grades, Ingridi. If not, I want you to get on top of them and I want you to get good grades this semester before you graduate. So, you know, you can graduate, you know, with flying colors and, you know, be happy with yourself. So, yes, Ingridi, we will erase the stress and the trouble that you're about to experience for the next six months in three, two, one, delete. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for leaving us your messages. If you have memories that you want to delete or mistakes that you want us to erase, leave us your messages for MA Trash Can and let's talk about it together and comfort each other, alright? All you need to do is come visit us at www.adidangradio.com slash music access and leave us a message on our message board with the title MA Trash Can. Alright, before moving on, quick shout outs on our message board. What up to Melissa from Australia, AL Love One from Mexico, Guardian Danny from Mexico, Poo Poo Nis from Vietnam, Clary95 from Peru, Unisa from Mexico, Vanessa172 from Peru, uh, Evelyn Pin from Singapore, 
Let's see, Vanessa, Venezuela from Venezuela. Next page. Lupita981101 from Mexico. Ale of One from Mexico. New East, Jaron13 from Japan. Claudia0294 from Mexico. Uh, Vanessa172 from Peru. And Any Love24 from Ecuador. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for the messages. I'll check them out in just a bit. And let's listen to another song before we come back with all about music quiz. Venicita from Peru requested I Want to Go by Britney Spears. All about music and all about quizzes. A great collaboration of music and quizzes. All about music quiz. A quiz that progresses receives praise, but a quiz that is always the same gets ignored. All About Music Quiz is, to say the least, the most progressive quiz you'll ever come across. Five different music quizzes from Monday through Friday. Get ready for the great music and have fun answering the quizzes. We even have a special gift for one lucky listener who sends in the correct answer. Our double A music quiz present is Mary J. Blige's album, The London Sessions, provided to us by Universal Music. So for our double A music quiz, the format for today is guessing the title. Once again, the format for today's double A music quiz is guessing the title. I'll let you guys hear a part of a song, but as a first hint, you'll only be able to listen to the first part. I guess it might be a little difficult unless it's a really, really popular song. But here it goes. Listen carefully and try to guess which song it is. On three, two, one. <laughs> it's Iggy Eggs. Yeah, duh. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so what is the title of the song? If you know the title, write answer on the title of your messages and send us a message with the correct answer. We'll listen to a song and come back with the second in for a double A music quiz. Miho from Japan requested Diga Bonde by G Dragon. What up, everyone? We just came back from listening to GD's Diga Bonde, a collaboration between music and quizzes, all about music quiz. Today's double A music quiz format had to do with guessing the title. Well, guys, here's a second in. Here's the chorus part of today's double A quiz answer. I think this will be a little easier than the first hint, so listen carefully. And here we go on three, two, one. Yeah. Shit. So high. <laughs> Awful. Oh yeah. Oh god, that was a fail. Anyways, guys, that was your hint. If you think you know the title of the song, write answer on the title of your messages and send us your messages with the correct answer. If you think you know the answer, come to the music access message board at www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave us your answer with the title answer. Our double A music quiz present is Mary J. Blige's album, The London Sessions, provided to us by Universal Music. Quick shout outs on our message board before moving out. What up to Euclid1102 from Vietnam, uh, Lollipop501 from Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Georgia1234 from the US, Yanela Ortega from Peru, Vieja Love from Mexico, Pupu Nuis from Vietnam, Vanessa Venezuela from Venezuela, Mickey Mais from the Philippines, Rafina from Russia, Swang Mai from Vietnam, let's see, Nico Love B95 from Nicaragua, Sunshine1206 from Peru, Crimson Rose 6 from the States, April Girl from Vietnam, and Huang Kim Vien from Vietnam. 
Alrighty, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for participating on Music Quiz and leaving us your messages. We'll check them out in just a bit. And let's listen to a song before we get into more messages from our listeners. Uh, Minshan from Taiwan requested Who 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 by Encia. What up, everybody? We just came back from listening to Who 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 by Encia. Time for more message time from our listeners. Let's get straight into it. Kana from uh, Japan wrote, Hi, DJ Aaron. Welcome back. You went back to Korea from LA in the early morning, and now you were on MA, really? I'm glad, but aren't you tired? Take care. What up, Kana from Japan? I left LA at 12 um, a.m. last night, and I got here at 6 a.m. in Korean time. Uh, but you know, um, I'm actually doing pretty good because um, I actually, when I was in LA, I didn't sleep at LA time. I actually slept at Korean time so I can get over jet lag quickly. So, you know, um, I'm not really jet lagged right now. I'm doing actually pretty well. But yes, thank you, Kana, for the message. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you very much for the message. Next, we have Nicole Garcia, 95, from Nicaragua. And Nicole Garcia wrote, You must be tired from the trip. Rest when you get home. What am Nicole Garcia from Nicaragua? My trip was amazing, I actually. I had a good time. Um, I'm a little tired from the flight, but besides that, you know, I'm pretty good. Um, I'm recharged. I'm in good energy, good health. So, yes, probably after the show, I'm going to rest a little bit. But thank you very much for the message. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have an awesome day. <laughs> Next, we have Marion Trujillo from Peru, and Marion Trujillo wrote, Hola, Aaron. How are you? I missed you so much, and I'm glad you had fun on your vacation, and I'm so happy that you're back. Take care. I love you. You have stolen my heart. What a Marion Trujillo from Peru. Marion, I'm doing all right today. Thank you very much for asking. And, you know, I missed my MAFM as well. You know, I was gone for two weeks, and I missed you guys a lot. Uh, but, yes, you know, I am back from my vacation, and, you know, I'm ready to work at it. I'm back, I'm back in the work grind now, so I will see you guys every day from now on. Uh, but yes, thank you very much for your compliments. Thank you for the message, and I hope you have an awesome day. Next, we have Any from Ecuador. Any from Ecuador wrote, Aaron, welcome back. I missed you so much. I'm glad that you had a great time with your family and friends in LA, and Happy New Year. What up, Annie from Ecuador? Yes, thank you for welcoming me back with open arms. Thank you very much for that. Uh, but yes, you know, I had a great time with family and friends, my, you know, my loving parents, you know, my cute little sisters, I had a great time spending time with them and, you know, um, just eating foods and catching up and, you know, it was fun, you know, um, you know, catching up with friends, getting a few drinks here and there, you know, hanging out with them. It was awesome. And yes, I want to wish you a happy belated new year as well. Any, thank you for the message and thank you very much for tuning in. Next, we have Lupita from Mexico. Lupita wrote, can you sing happy birthday to me, please? Today's my birthday and I'm your fan. What up, Lupita from Mexico? All right, guys, let's sing Lupita happy birthday on a count of three. Here we go. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lupita. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Happy birthday to you, Lupita. I hope you have an awesome day. Hope you get a lot of presents and love from your family and friends. And thank you very much for tuning in today. It means a lot to me. All right, shout outs on our message board before moving on. What up to Vanessa, 172 from Peru. Lollipop 501 from Saudi Arabia. New East, j 13 from Japan. Georgia, 1234 from the States. Tato, 123 from Chile. Rufina from Russia. Ale of One from Mexico. Uh, Georgia, 1235, I just said that. Uh, Mickey Mize from the Philippines. All right. Thank you guys for the messages. And let's listen to another song before moving on. Uh, Tony from the Philippines requested Haruda Chinagageta by Royal Pirates. What up, everyone? It is almost time for us to wrap things up in the first hour. In the second hour, we'll be back with, of course, Tasha for our Monday Corner My Treasure Box. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this song. Barawan from Turkey requested Can't Remember to Forget by Shakira featuring Rihanna. And I will see you guys in just a bit. Access. 
What up, everyone? Music Access with me, Aaron of New East. In the second hour of MA for today, we have the lovely Tasha joining us in the studio in just a bit. Our Monday Corner My Treasure Box is all about these special things that make us think back on the precious moments in our lives. Just write My Treasure Box on your title and share with us what kind of special, memorable items you have. Here's how you guys can listen and participate on Music Access. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio applications on your smartphones and send us your messages through the applications using the common function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave us your messages on our message board. You can also see our broadcast in real time. We'll turn on the cameras in just a bit. And another way you guys can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB. But this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo, and 101.9 for Taejong. Alright, after the song, we'll come back with Tasha for My Treasure Box. Here is Fine Girl by New East.
Things that aren't special to others but hold great meaning to me. A special time to share a bottle of special items. My treasure box. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 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 Tasha. Hi, Aaron. Welcome back to the studio. Thank you. It's been a while. How mm -hmm. have you been? But first, actually, yep. um, I think we have our cameras open. So can you say hello to our listeners? Hi, guys. Guys, it's been a long while since me and Tasha have been in the studio together. Yep. And, you know, we actually were wearing the same color clothes today. Isn't that weird, guys? She's just right. copying me, right? She's just gray and wine color how how wow. do you get gray and wine color to be the same she's copying me guys no she's stalking me it's, it's okay though tasha it's okay i appreciate it but yes tasha how have you been great great you know um mm -hmm. i was back home in la these past two weeks but yep. i heard you also visited home for a yep. while for you, a week too for a week right mm -hmm. you're in singapore right yep what did you do there i mean i just met my friends my relatives and spent time with my family Nice, nice. Like, mm -hmm. any special memorable moments you had? Actually, it was quite, you know, normal. Like, I just had meals with my friends, family, that's all. Nice. So you mm -hmm. had time to hang out with, like, your old friends, right? Yeah, my school friends, my schoolmates. School friends. Nice. What did they say? Did they mention you were prettier than before or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, when... Because I look really different from the past, so they oh, got really? a bit surprised. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like, did you meet any guys? No. No? No. You better not. <laughs> Why? Why? I'm just playing, guys. <laughs> I'm just playing. But so how was your trip back to LA, too? Oh, my trip was amazing. Was it good? So good. What did you do? Man, I did so many things. I couldn't tell you, if, <laughs> even if I had all the time in the world. I did so many things when I went mm -hmm. back. You know, um, I got to see my younger sisters. Mm -hmm. Got to see my parents. Oh. Got to see my dog. Um, I met up a lot of my friends, mm -hmm. a lot of my friends, you know, um, we like hung out a lot. Uh, you know, we went to like, you know, I'm not going to go into clubs and stuff. Like, you know, we drank a little bit and had fun, mm -hmm. you know, but, uh, I did not meet any girls, guys, if you guys are curious. I did not meet any girls, but, mm -hmm. um, you I don't my, know, I, right guys? Uh, we I, don't know. I promise. <laughs> Pinky swear I did not meet any girls, but, you know, I, I had my mm -hmm. fair, I had my fair, um, you know, share of fun back mm -hmm. in LA. It was really, it was really fun, you know, just seeing all my friends and all my families. Right. It was, it was a great time. But, you know, I'm sure there were a lot of foods from back at home that you couldn't wait to have. What was the best? Well, actually, I missed Korean food when I was in Singapore. What? It was really weird, but, yeah, I don't I don't actually miss any food at back home. From back home, I mean. Hmm? You don't miss any food from back home? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, what are some good, like, Singaporean dishes, like, famous ones? I think the most famous, like all of you guys already know, it's chili crab. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. chili crab so good. And there are a lot of like local dishes too, a lot. Really? Which you might not know. Maybe. Yeah, but, probably not. Right? <laughs> I probably wouldn't know, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but um, I had a lot of great foods when I went back home. If you look at my SNS, like, there's just all photos of foods. Like, oh, God, mm -hmm. I. I had the infamous, um, I don't know if you know, there's a burger called um, Out and In, but backwards. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah? yeah. It's really famous, right? Yeah, I had that. So mm -hmm. good. Is it good? I, oh. I, I, I ate that at least twice a week when I was <gasps> back in LA, but um, you know, this time I only ate it once, but it was still really good. Like, is it different from the normal? Yeah, it's, you gotta try it. What's the difference? <laughs> Cause you know, like, re like other like fast food chains, mm -hmm. they have the hamburgers already made and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they freeze their patties. Mm -hmm. This place, as soon as you order, they put your fries in the fryer. Like they cook like the so, it's really fresh. Yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. then and then they cook your burger for you, and then they Aww. give it to you. So it's really good. Wow. And they had this sauce. Mm -hmm. oh, like hamburger. <laughs> oh my god. Look at his face. <laughs> so good. Mm. I had that. I I had some like really good pasta, mm -hmm. and I had um like authentic Mexican food. Like okay. tacos, burritos, burritos, so, burritos. so good. It was amazing. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, you saw your family after a long while, right? Yep. What did your family say to you? Um, they just you know told me to take care to take care of myself. The same mm -hmm. things again. <laughs> nice, nice. Did you cry or anything while they said goodbye no. to you when you're coming back to Korea? No. No, actually, you know, I'm really used to it. Like. You know, going back for a week and living again. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty sad. No. <laughs> no, but um, it was it was it was 
it was alright for me to actually say goodbye to my parents and family. You know, it was like I'll see you guys okay? next time. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, it was actually mm-hmm. really good. Um, I remember the first time when I first left LA and I first came to Korea. I remember me and my mom cried at the airport. It was so Aww. bad. I didn't. I I wasn't even crying. My mom started crying, and then I started crying too. And then my best friends they all started to cry, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh my god. When you first came to Korea? Yeah, when I first left Aww. at the airport. <clears throat> Me and my best friends and my mom cried. It was really bad, guys. Mm-hmm. And my dad was just in the background laughing. He was like, wow. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but, um, you know, did you do anything besides, you know, like, um, you know, Singapore, the weather's not that cold, right? It's really hot there. So did you do anything, you know, like summer activities, like swimming or anything like that? Actually, no. I was at home the whole day, like, sleeping. <laughs> oh, because you're tired because, right. like, all, like... All the schedules and training. schedules and stuff, it, like, built up, huh? Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Well, you know, I hope you had a good time with your family. Yep. Back in Singapore, you know, um, were you there for the New Year's? Yeah, for New Year. I went back on the 31st. Oh, so you were there for New Year's. Yep. Nice, nice. You Did too, you? right? I no. was, yeah. You're right. Mm-hmm. But I was outside with my friends on New Year's. We went to a bar. I was like, at home with my family. <laughs> how, how was that? What did you do with your family on New Year's? We just watched TV. <laughs> did you count down like three, two, one? No, actually. Really? We just shook hands and like, Happy New Year. Oh, mm-hmm. that must have been a lot great. of fun. It was great, yeah. Do you have any siblings, Tasha? I have an older brother. Oh, uh, how old is he? He's two years older than us. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is he big? Big as in tall? Yeah. Yeah, taller than you and me. <laughs> what do you mean, you and me? <laughs> all right, Tasha. Taller than us. I'm not that short, all right? I'm 5'9", <laughs> okay? I'm not that short, all right, guys? <laughs> but yes, anyways, um, mm-hmm. it was good. We let you guys know a little bit about our vacations. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. And why don't we listen to a song before we come back with our MA family members, My Treasure Box Stories. Okay. Here is Hello Venus' new song, Wiggle Wiggle. What up, everyone? <laughs> we just came back from listening to Hello Venus' Wiggle Wiggle. wiggle the song wiggle. caught me off guard. caught Tasha off guard. I was like, oh my god, we went to get left. <laughs> Grab my headphones, but... Mm-hmm. Yes, everyone. Music access with us, Aaron of New East, and Tasha. You're mm-hmm. listening to our Monday Corner, My Treasure Box. So you were probably at home for the first time in a long while and yep. stayed in your room, mm-hmm. right? Did you find any treasures that you had totally forgotten about that brought back memories in your room? Well, actually, in my, in my room, I have a lot of, you know, gifts from fans in really? the past. So, you know, I was really happy to see all of them again. And I read each card again and again. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like when I received about a year ago. Thumbs up to Tasha. So touched. So touch, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure the fans were all touched by it as well. Because you read them again. So these items are probably things that you had used daily in the past, but forgot about since you moved to Korea. Mm-hmm. Can you think of anything like that? You know, from the past where you used it every day. Mm. Well, actually, we just moved to another apartment, so. Oh, really? Yeah, so. Oh, so it's like a it's new house. It's all new. Yeah. Me too. It was like that too. Right? My parents moved to a new place, so I went to the new apartment, and I was like, what is this place? It's like, it's not your home, you know? It yeah. Home. Because when I was in LA, I lived, we lived in the same apartment for 15 years oh. since I was in elementary school mm-hmm. until I graduated. My parents just moved out next last year, so it was really weird. Um, I drove by my old apartment, though, just for old time's sake, mm-hmm. just to see the neighborhood again. It was, it was oh. it looks the same. You know, I was like, right. my childhood is here in this place. <laughs> hey. A lot of memories. <clears throat> a lot of good memories. Mm-hmm. So, you know, your mom must have packed some stuff for you to bring back to Korea. But was there anything that you packed or bought before mm. coming I back? I bought a bolster. A poster? Bolster. A bolster. Yeah. For what? For for me to, you know, use it in Korea. Oh. <laughs> why, why? Nice, nice, nice. No, I um I brought back two suitcases. One was just like my stuff. Mm-hmm. And then one was like chips and like hot all, sauce. All the... And hot sauce. All the food. Only from America. Like I brought so... I bought a huge trunk. So where's of, mine? I'll give it to you next time, Tasha. Really? I'll give it next time I see you. Okay. <laughs> promise. I'll, I'll bring some good ones next time. Yay. I promise. Uh, but yes, guys, um, let's find out what's in your treasure boxes mm-hmm. this week. Here are some messages sent in to us by our listeners. And Tasha's going to read the first, first and third one. And okay. I'm going to read the second and fourth. Go ahead. We have Rin from Japan. I have something that's really special to me, but it's not something that I can keep for a very long time. It's my favorite cookie. 
It's sweet and savory and crispy, but when I put it into my mouth, it just melts. It's my favorite since I was really young, so I tend to hide it in my closet so I don't have to share with anyone. Mm. A cookie is your treasure. Yeah, but you mm. can't you can't save it because if it goes rotten, you can't eat it yeah. anymore. Uh, Rin, I would say just buy a lot of them and keep them <laughs> right. in stock at your house. Maybe you know, just like munch on them. That's what I did when I was back home. I bought a bunch of chips and I'll just munch on them all day long at home. So good. <laughs> so good. I love. Do you like cookies? I love sweet stuff. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you like chocolate? Of course. Really? You hate, don't like, right? I don't like chocolate, yeah. I don't like sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. You I, prefer like savory stuff? I prefer like salty stuff. Mm -hmm. I really like salty stuff. I love salty foods and spicy foods too. You can take spicy foods? No, I can't. No? I'm really bad at eating spicy foods, but mm -hmm. I really love spicy foods. Oh. Actually, just like the right amount of spicy. Not too spicy. I hate too spicy. Mm -hmm. It's too spicy, like, hurts you. Mm -hmm. But um, I like the right amount of, like, savory, like, Aww. salty, spicy. So what's your favorite Korean food? My favorite Korean food. That's a hard choice. Um, I really like ganjang gejang. Oh. I like yangnyam gejang as well. Yep. Um, my favorite food? I can't really say. I'm not sure. What's your favorite food? Korean food. I don't have a favorite food too. It's like, they're all really good. Really? Like all of them? Mm. I eat all of them. Do you eat bandegi? Of course. I used to buy, you know, cans and just eat in the dorm. <gasps> you like bandegi, Tasha? Yeah. Do you like... It's it's like... Oh. What, what, is, what is it in, in English? It's like silkworm right. larvae or something like that. It's like... It's really good, guys. It's a bug. <laughs> right. If you guys are curious, Technically, it's, it's a, bug. a bug, but yeah. you don't eat bandegi? I can't, yeah. I tried once. I tried eating it. It, it doesn't taste good to me. Really? It yeah. tastes really good. I like, I like bondegi tang. Like bondegi mm. soup or something. It was... Oh, this, <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, mm. I don't judge people who eat it, though. Okay. Since since you're pretty Tasha, we'll let it go. We'll, we'll, but we'll guys, let it you should by. try it. It's called bondegi, okay? Yeah, it's like silkworms. If you guys want to try them, go ahead. I can't eat them. <laughs> That's weird. Anyways... Thank you, Ryu, for letting us know what your treasure... Rin, for letting mm -hmm. us know what your treasure is. And thank you very much for the message. Next one, we have Crystal from Canada. Crystal wrote, There's something that I would, I would really like to keep in a magic box and take it out to use whenever I want, but I can't. Mm -hmm. It is my mom's cooking skills. I was studying in a different city for about six months, so I wasn't able to eat my mom's cooking for the past six months. Mm -hmm. I lost around five kilograms and had a hard time because I kept on thinking about my mom's cooking. My mom's such a good cook, and there are times when I wonder if she has her own magic box full of magic recipes. If she does, I want to ask her to share those recipes so I can take it with me wherever I go. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Cooking skills. Cooking skills. Are you a good cook, Kasha? I don't know, but I love to cook. Really? Yeah. Like, what's your favorite thing to cook? I think the most, like, easiest thing to cook is tok, rice cakes. Oh, you don't know how to make tok? Yeah. How do you make it? Like in microwave. Oh. You put it in the microwave and then just keep By pounding, pounding yeah, it da, right? da, da. to make it chewy and soft. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Is, is that the best thing you know how to make? It's the thing that I always make. Really? Yeah. What's the best thing that you can make? Best? Mm, I think fried, like kimchi fried rice or mm. kimchi jjigae. Really? Yeah. You can make kimchi jjigae? Of course. It's really easy. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't know about Do you that. like cooking? I love cooking too. Oh. Um, I think my my best uh dish would probably be pasta. I'm pretty good at making oh, pasta. I make some really good pasta. I should try for next for time. the ladies. Hey, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> playing, guys. I'm just playing. I make some good pasta though. Um, mm. I'm really bad at making Korean food. I can make a like, pokemon and stuff, but I can't make kimchi jjigae. But it's really easy. I like I me I we try make I tried making a long time ago, so and I mm -hmm. messed up. So I put like five like. Lamian soup in it all just like that's so bad for your body it was good though <laughs> it tastes really good but um yeah I'm, I'm good at pasta I'm also good at making omelets omelet I'm really good at making omelets I love mm -hmm. making omelets it's really good um I'm like I'm good at, I'm good at cooking meat too I'm a very good cooker at meat I like I know how to flip it like like steak like steak I'm really mm. good at cooking steak yeah I'm the I'm the man I'm the man I'm the man I'm the man anyways guys <laughs> Uh, thank you, Crystal, for letting us know about your mom's cooking. Um, yeah. 
I think cooking is something that you should learn from your mom. You mm -hmm. know, I think um, as you get older, and you, you can, pass down, and it should right. it should be passed down to generations because you know there are good recipes and stuff mm -hmm. uh, that your grandparents might have taught your parents, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So make sure to learn about those recipes later on. And thank you, Crystal, for the message. Next, next, uh, Madison Rice from the U.S. Um, well, my great grandmother. Dudzik from Poland made me two doll heads that you can flip back and front from knitting. I don't really know what's that, but I think it's like doll heads, right? Yeah, yeah. And she gave me and my sister one. I'm 19 now, and I still have mine. To remember my great, great, great grandma Dudzik when she died in 2000. Mm. Mm. It's great, great grandma. So, so it's like great, great, great. So it's like. Her grandma, grandma's mom's, gr mom's mom's mom's. So it's her grandma's oh, right, grandma. Oh right, right, right. It's her gra right. grandma's <laughs> grandma. It's a great, great grandma. Wow. Yeah, that's very, that's very. Um, I guess it's very. Um, you know, um, memorable and has mm -hmm. a good meaning behind it. You know, because yeah. it's, it like it keeps you and like helps you remember your great, great grandma. Yep. <laughs> and you know, I, I think it's cute that she made you, you know, two little cute doll heads. Doll heads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you can keep and go, like take around with you wherever you go. That's pretty cool, man. Um, do you have anything that like you, you that's passed on to you from like grandparents or like great grandparents? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> but me I think either. that's really, you know, cool. Like to have a treasure like that passed down. Yeah, I think it's really mm -hmm. cool that you have um you know, like old school, like right. family, like like treasure that's passed down to you. I think it's very good. Mm -hmm. So you know, definitely keep that. And Madison, you might want to pass it down to your children. Yeah. Later on in the future. So mm -hmm. thumbs up to you. Next, we have Joao from Portugal. Joao wrote, Wow, Aaron, last month you made... Amaze me, you're so cool. Mm. It's the second time that I feel touched because of you. I never gave attention to New East until I started listening to this corner. Can you suggest me your favorite New East song? I would say Yobo's Heel. Hello? Mm. I think you're my bias in New East and I love your fan service and your dorkiness. Thank you very much. Very much. <laughs> uh, my treasure box is, do you remember when you guys talked about people who find biggest treasures? Mm. I started thinking and searching in my treasure box, and I have this weird object that I don't know what it is. And after some research, I found out what it is. I have with me a piece of a car caravel ship that introduced that was made in the mid 15th century, which aided Portuguese exploration. A ship that could sail closer to the wind than any other uh, ships in the operations at Europe. Um, Using new maritime technology, Portuguese navigators reached more southern latitudes. I think that's what you meant. Advancing at an average rate of one degree a year. Guys, I don't know what to do now. Please give me ideas. <laughs> that's so cute. I don't know what to do. With it. So she has um a treasure. It's a piece of an old ship. I guess used mm -hmm. that was used long time ago in like the Portuguese um exploration days in like the right. mid fifteenth century. Because oh no, that's when like America was discovered and stuff, um by the Spanish and stuff like that. Very cool, very cool, mm -hmm. very cool. Um, that might be worth a lot of money. So <laughs> you might want to keep on to it. You like hold on to that. That might be worth a lot of money actually. But um, Joa, I think that's pretty cool that you have um a piece of the past with you in the house. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty dope. So two thumbs up to you. Ooh. That's pretty cool actually. But yeah, do you have anything at home like that that's really old, that it's a part mm. of like history, you would say? I used to keep like old money bills. Really? Yeah. But I don't know where is it. I mean, when I was young, I, you know, I kept like m money, you know, bills. Right. Because I think like in, in the future, it might be, you know, be some worth. So I kept it. Nice. But I don't know where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, your parents probably used it. But anyways, <laughs> guys, um, thank you very much, Joao, for the message. And guys, why don't we listen to a song before we come back with more uh, messages from our listeners. Okay. Here is Good Luck by Beast. Beast. 
What up, everyone? We just came back from listening to "Good Luck" by Beast,、mm-hmm. Aaron of New East Music Access. You're listening to our Monday Corner, my treasure box with the lovely Tasha. Let's find out what's in your treasure box. Is here are more messages sent into us by our listeners. So, Tasha,、mm-hmm. can you read the first one for us? Okay, we have Valeria from Mexico. Mm-hmm. My treasure box is about the gifts that my mother-in-law gave me.、Mm-hmm. She gave me some things that belonged to my boyfriend. When、okay. he died, my mother-in-law promised me that one day she would give me all the things that he considered a treasure. I feel so happy and I feel so near to him.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mother-in. Nah. So、uh, it's his, it's her so husband. Husband, I guess, yeah.、Right? I guess her husband passed away. We're sorry to hear about your loss,、mm-hmm. uh, Valeria. Um,、uh, but yeah, you know, um, we're glad that you know you have something like a keepsake that you know reminds you of him,、mm-hmm. and you know, um, you know, like keeps his memory in your heart. We think that's great. You know, um, it's always、mm-hmm. sad when someone passes away. You know,、mm-hmm. um. You know,、uh, I'm just glad that you know this this item helps you remember your husband, and you know,、um, makes you feel closer to him.、Mm-hmm. Because you know, when when someone passes away, it's a very sad event, and you know,、um, you never want to see anyone that you love pass away. But you know, you know, life does go on, and you know,、um, mm-hmm. that's the cycle of life. So, yeah, we're sorry to hear about your loss, Valeria, but we're glad that this item, you know, has kept you close to your husband, even、um, though he's moved on to a better place. So thank you, Valeria, for the message. Thank you very thank much for、you. tuning in. Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> Next, we have Huyen Pupu from Vietnam. Huyen wrote, "It's four months.、Uh, my mom went to Singapore for her work. I miss her so much, but I know she's super busy with her work, so I don't want to bother her. On her birthday, I really wanted her to come back to Vietnam, but she couldn't. It hurt me, but I made a video for her, and this was the first time I said to her that I missed her and that I loved her so much.、Mm. She called me back and she said she loved me too." <laughs> So sweet, and I still remember her voice at that time. I love her. All the mothers in this world are the best, right? Haha, <laughs> love mothers. Hui and Poopoo from Vietnam. Yeah. Yes,、Such、mothers. Such a great message. I think everyone should, you know, show your mothers how much you appreciate them because you know、mm-hmm. they gave you birth, they gave you life. You know, um, I love my mom to death. You know, um, I don't know if you're watching, mom. Hi. You know, I love my mom to death. She's an angel. You know, um, I would, I would、mm-hmm. do anything for my mom. You know, I think.、Yeah. People should be appreciative of their moms and you know mothers. You know more power to you guys. You guys are awesome. I think mothers are great.、Mm-hmm. And, you know I think mothers deserve all the respect in the world because their jobs as mother is so hard. Like、mm-hmm. as mothers are so hard. So you know I'm glad that you like your mom and I'm glad you know um you you got that respect for your mom. You know I think that's great. So, yep. Yeah. Two thumbs up to you, Huyen. You have good morals and good you know values instilled in you. That's great. So next. Yep. Next. Um. We have Alex. Yep. Perezvel from Mexico too.、Mm-hmm. Hey, Erin and Tasha, I got a long story short today. I own an autograph of a band I love. It was also one of my friend's favorite band, and this was such a beloved friend of of mine. She was older and also a role model.、Um, and the adventures we had at this band, at this band's visit and concerts to our countries, are memories I treasure. My friend passed away two years ago, so this autograph is something that I keep really safe and on my treasure box because all of the memories I had with my friend. I miss her. I miss her, but it makes me remember that she's still around, looking after me. Right? Thanks for reading. Love you guys.、Mm, oh. Very sad to hear. <clears throat> Sorry about your loss. Uh, but yes, you know, um, we're glad this autograph, you know, reminds you of your friend and stuff like that. You know, um, makes you feel close to her too. Yeah, you know,、mm-hmm. I actually have um a really close friend of mine who passed away during our freshman year. He was in my class, but um, yeah, you know, um, I actually go to church every day on the day of his passing, just because you、mm-hmm. know, like, I don't really go to church a lot, but I go to church on David's passing. And you know, I think I think it's good that this autograph is something that's like. Like a keepsake, like I said earlier, you know that, that reminds you of your friend, even、mm. though、and、he or she's gone, and the memories、right. that you guys had together. And I'm、mm-hmm. glad that you're keeping this with you, and you know, um, they haven't lost it or thrown it away. I think that's great.、Mm-hmm. Do you have any? Do you have any friends that have passed away, Tasha? Um, no. No. Oh. Yeah, like not、huh. friends, I guess. 
Mm-hmm. Huh. Hulk. Well, not just friends, but anyone just in general. It's, re- it's a very sad thing to lose right. someone very special to you. So. My dad actually passed away last year. Really? Yeah. <gasps> and, and I was in Korea. Uh, so, you know, it was really a hard time back then. We're sorry to hear about your loss, Tasha. Mm-hmm. Hard. <laughs> Anyways, let's bring, let's bring up the mood a little oh. bit, guys. Ah, we'll talk <laughs> about this later, guys. Oh, so sad. All right, guys. Thank you so much for our listeners for sending us your awesome messages. It means a lot to us. And uh, it's almost time for us to wrap things up already, Tasha. Aww. Actually, yeah. Did you have fun today? Yeah, I always have fun with you. I know, because <laughs> I'm the most fun person in the world, right, guys? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Tasha, welcome back to Korea. Welcome back to the studio. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to Music Thank Access. You. It was good to see your face today. <laughs> and let's meet again next week, shall we? Yep. Alrighty, guys. Sending Tasha out. Here is a song. Here is Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. I'll see you next week, Tasha. Bye. Bye. What up, everyone? We just came back from looking, listening to Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. It is now time to reveal the answer for Double E Music Quiz in the first hour. Our listeners are like, what's the answer, of that? Of that? What's the answer? Alrighty, guys, the answer for today's Double E Music Quiz was Problem. Once again, the answer for today's Double A Music Quiz was Problem. And a lot of people got the answer right, but we picked just one lucky winner. Our lucky winner for today is Annie from Malaysia. Once again, congrats to Annie from Malaysia. Uh, Annie, please send us an email at musicaccess at arirang.co.kr with your name, phone number, address, and email address. And we'll send you our Double A Music Quiz present, Mary J. Blige's album, The London Sessions, provided to us by Universal Music. All right, more message time. Makoto from Japan wrote, this is my first comment. Hello, Aaron. How was your trip to LA? By the way, why did you take so many photos of foods? Oh, uh, I'm on a diet. What a Makoto from Japan. Yes, thank you for leaving us your first comment on our message board. Thank you for taking the time to. But yes, my trip to LA was amazing. I had an awesome time, you know, seeing family and friends. You know, it was great. And, you know, um, I had a lot of food in LA. You know, all the stuff I can't eat in Korea, I, I ate in LA. It was, it was amazing, guys. But... Yes, Makoto. Thank you for the message. Thank you for tuning in. And please, you know, leave us your messages on our message board and continue listening to Music Access. It would mean a lot to me and the staff here. So thank you for the message and enjoy the rest of the show. Next, we have Ileana from Mexico. Ileana wrote, Welcome back, Arong. I missed you a lot. I loved every single uh, picture of your family that you shared. Have an amazing day, babe. Love you. What up, Ileana from Mexico, Mexico? Yes, thank you for welcoming me back. It means a lot to me. And yes, you know, um, I took a lot of photos with me and my family, you know, um, back when I was in LA this past uh, two weeks. And, you know, it was, it was really fun, you know, spending time with my family and friends, you know, um, spending time with my little sisters or who are now like, they're like sophomore in high school and freshman in college. I was like, wow, these are old, but... Uh, yeah, you know, it was really fun catching up, and, you know, um, I just wanted to share with you guys my beautiful family, so hope you guys enjoyed those photos. And thank you, Ileana, for the message. I hope you have an amazing day as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Next, we have Tamara from Chile. Tamara wrote, hello, how was your trip? What up, Tamara from Chile? My trip to the States was amazing, you know, going back home after a half a year and a half. You know, um, I had an awesome time, you know, hanging out with friends, family, catching up. Uh, eating a lot of good foods and, you know, getting to see my little dog again. But, yes, tomorrow, thank you very much for the message. Thank you for your curiosity. And thank you for participating on Music Access. Alright, let's listen to two songs before we move on. Aid from Mexico requested Falling in Love by Unique. And Lourdes from Mexico, Mexico requested 143 by Henry. What up, guys? Already time to say goodbye. I'm glad I'm back in the studio after a long while. Thank you guys for welcoming me back. Our last song for today is You Are My Life by Warren Dean Flandes. And of course, same time, same place tomorrow, guys. I will see all of you there. Have an amazing, amazing start of the week. Peace.